Hi again. Um, so now I want to talk about umbilical cords. So when they come out, they look pretty gross. Um, <laughs> um, obviously it's like wet and fleshy and whatever. It's, it's just, bleh. um, but so recently our vet made changes and they started sending us home with this Betadine, which is a form of iodine and it's used as an antiseptic and stuff. To me, this stuff smells horrible. Like I don't gag and like whatever, get sick over many things. Um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with stuff, but, um, I can't stand the smell of that stuff. And before, like, I've been doing this for a long time, and every time the girls would come home, I'm like, they stink, they smell so bad, and like, I asked Facebook, and they were like, well, if your dog stinks, then something's wrong, you need to go to the vet. And I'm like, no, it's it's not, it's not like infection or anything, like, I, I can't describe it. That stuff, I'm pretty sure they use that on the females, on like their incision and stuff, and it just, it smells so bad, I can't stand it. Ugh, it makes me gag. Um, but anyways, it's an antiseptic and um, those gauze pads, every eight hours, you just drip it on the umbilical cord. It, it keeps the infection out and it helps to dry it up and, um, you know, promotes healing. So, um, he was born on Sunday night. It's now Tuesday and it's really dry. It's really hard. Um, so I, I would expect it to fall off between tomorrow tomorrow's Wednesday maybe Thursday or Friday um I usually see them fall off within two to three days but um I don't know if that's how it should be um I mean I've never seen a problem with it um you'll notice when your umbilical cords fall off that um sometimes there's some blood Cause it's like a scab coming off so um <laughs> and sometimes you come in and you look at your your whelping space maybe you have like a white blanket or something that that the blood's easily visible on and you're like oh my god what happened and then you check and oh the umbilical cord just fell off so um but yeah i'll be expecting it to fall off within the next couple of days um Obviously, this is going to be like a video compilation, so it'll just segue right into that. But, um, but yeah, umbilical cords. If you get an infection in an umbilical cord, a puppy can go sepsis pretty fast. Um, one of my friends is an ER tech, and um, she also breeds. And uh, she always uses the iodine on the umbilical cords, and I didn't know that was a thing um, until now. Like... I mean, I figured they did it at the vet, but I didn't realize it was like part of the continual care. And so I was really glad when our vet sent me home with that stinky stuff, but I just have to work through it because it just, it smells horrible to me. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like when it falls off. Hopefully I catch it like right as soon as it falls off so you can see the, the fresh like wound or whatever you want to call it um but uh puppy growth yeah segue into it i'll see you soon all right guys so i had to put portia away because she just wouldn't let me take the video so i want to show you i caught it before it fell off i want to show you what it looks like so it's a little bloody right i'm gonna put some betadine on it um so it doesn't get infected, but it's probably gonna fall off by tomorrow. Oh, I hate this. All right, everyone, so the umbilical cord fell off. Um, there's a hair on it. So I wanna see if I can really see it. So it's kind of like a little hole, and it's just gonna, you know, close over and go back to normal and that's that. So we're, we're still gonna put the betadine on it, but other than that, I'm gonna do anything. You don't have to worry about it. It's just gonna close and heal over on its own. And uh, yeah, so 
That's what it looks like when your puppy loses the umbilical cord. Hi, sweet boy. You sniff, sniff, sniff. We just had dinner. We're gonna take a two hour nap. Ooh, I got this really awesome um, goat's milk today. Um, I figured Portia would wanna try it. She hasn't really been drinking water, so I figured um, that we would try some goat's milk. It's actually a powder, but um, it's, it's human grade and it, there's only one ingredient. It's just goat's milk powder. So I tasted it, it tastes really good. So I'm probably gonna drink it. I'll probably make hot chocolate out of it. And um, it's like a two pound container and uh, she loves it. So great for hydration. It's easy to make, even though it's powder. I just use like a, a hand blender. Um, I know I said I don't like powders in my other video, but this is for her, not for him. So I don't really mind. It foams really well. So if you wanna make like a goat milk latte or something, um, that could be pretty delicious. But anyways, um, umbilical cords, I'm gonna take a nap. I will see you guys later. Happy birthday, everyone.